Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week and a brand new Monday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday. I'm glad that you are here today. And um, I'm glad we could look at God's Word together and kind of get you going on your day here today. Uh, what I'd like to do is direct us to the book of Galatians today. Galatians chapter 6. There, There's a uh, one verse here in Galatians that is, I think, very, very, very helpful to us, and it helps answer this question. You ready? How do we deal with somebody that we love who is struggling spiritually? How do we, how do we deal with somebody that we care about who has maybe wandered away from the faith or um, given up on God or walked away from God? How do we, how do we approach that? Uh, let, let's take a look at the screen and look at the scripture from Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. And here's what it says. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path and be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Now, I've been around the church long enough to know that we don't always get this right, okay? Um, one, of, one of two things often happens. Number one, we just kind of reject them. We kind of give up on them. We kind of, um, we don't want anything to do with them anymore and we just kind of let them be. And um, I don't think that's what this scripture says. Uh, but secondly, I think sometimes we think that we are the ones that are responsible for that person's salvation. We are the ones that are responsible for whether that person is following Jesus or not. And I, I don't necessarily see that in this scripture either. Here's what I see. Um, I, I, I see a call for followers of Jesus to do what they can to gently and humbly bring that person back into the faith. So that does that that does not mean that we just kind of beat them up with this religious ugly stick until they uh, can't stand you anymore. Uh, and, and and some of us are really good at that, but that. Honestly, that does more damage than it does good. I think there's, uh, in the context of relationship especially, I think that we can gently go to somebody and humbly try to restore them and just say, look, I love you. I care about you. I want to walk this thing out with you. I want to help you out. And I think that could speak even louder to somebody than a sermon by a preacher like myself. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we have this warning at the end of the verse. Again, we're told to be careful when we're in this process that we don't fall into the same temptation that that person gave into. You know, sin and temptation are really tricky things. And you're never going to be tempted to do something you don't want to do. And oftentimes when we find ourselves dealing with some people who maybe have wandered from the faith, it could be easy to get caught up in what they're facing. It could be easy to get caught up in what they are dealing with themselves and maybe even make some bad choices like they have made. And I think the scripture says, okay, be humble and gentle about bringing somebody back to where they need to be. But you also need to be on your guard yourself. So if you're going to do this, then you need to stay strong yourself. You may come face to face with some things that are on, on, on the surface or just gut level. They are just bad. They're sinful. And yet they can be very appealing and attractive to you if you're not careful. So it's important for you to really be on your guard in the midst of this. 
So my question is this, if there is there somebody that you care about that maybe has wandered away from God, I want to encourage you, be humble and gentle and ask God, Lord, what would you want me to do to try to help bring this person back to where they need to be? But be careful. You stay strong yourself so that you don't give in to the same thing that they gave in to. Okay? That's our word for you today. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. We love you. And uh, we'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.